Greetings everyone. How are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel and I've got another awesome video for you today. The question that I'm going to answer today is what is idolatry? Now if you have watched my previous video, I made a video about uh, what is an idol. And today we're going to answer what is idolatry. When you break down in the Greek, the word idolatry has two words. And let me pull it up for you guys so you can see what I mean. Idolatry. Alright. In the Greek, it comes from the word idolatria. Idolatria. So, idolo, which on the last video I showed you that it uh, an idol is simply an image that is worship right it's an image a likeness of a man animal thing object luminaries etc and when you break down this word it basically the word idolatry is the worship of an idol because the word latria which is the second part of the word, it means uh, first definition. Latria, service rendered for hire. Any service of ministration, the service of God. Second, the service and worship of God according to the requirements of the Levitical word. So it's basically say to perform sacred service. So Latria is basically the ceremonies, the worship. So idolatry is image worship simply put so idolatry is you worshiping anything that that has the likeness of a man animal thing luminaries etc and according to the biblical records idolatry is against the creator because he say you can worship nothing he created only worship him but we don't know how it looks like we don't have a concept of the creator so he's like, stop attributing who I am to the things I created. You don't know how I look like. <laughs> That's basically how it's put. So if you had this uh, question in your mind prior to this video, you were wondering, what is idolatry? Idol idolatry is basically the worship of an image. So I'll give you an example. In many uh, Christian church, you will see the image of the cross that looks like a plus, right? And you have a, a, a figure that's hung or crucified, they will say that's Jesus, right? But we know according to the scriptures that's not him. It's a likeness that's a reference to him. And you see people pray to it, bow down to it. When the scripture says you shall, you, as a man, you're supposed to bow to no man, you're not supposed to bow down to no object, no give worship. But you see it in. Uh, people who call themselves Christians. Mostly you see Protestant, Catholic, some non-denominational church like the Baptist. You see them have a paint of Caesar Borgia, aka Jesus, in a wall as Jesus with long hair, blue, you know, you know everything. And if you go to the Islamic side, they have the crescent moon, they have the star, they have uh, the Kahaba stone, you can do your research on that. I'll, I'll make more videos about what it is. And uh, you see them bow down, right? When they, they, they walk around seven times and bow down to it. And they claim to be followers of the Creator, but the Creator says, You're not supposed to bow down to any image. So why are you buying? Bowing, you know? <laughs> so that's that one. And it's, it's a simple question with a simple answer so but if you have any further questions or you have more input about what i just stated please feel free to leave the comments below and i'll put a link on the top as a reference to my previous video about what is an idol so what i'll try to do is any videos that's related to each other i'll tie them together and hopefully maybe i'll make like a playlist you know for all the question answer when it comes to these kind of topics so i want to thank you again for stopping by my channel and remember if you're new make sure to like share subscribe hit that bell so you can get into the notification 
and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace and have a great day or evening or night.